us today, and we have a few announcements before Mass begins. Today we ask that you uh, consider prayerfully those whom you feel would be good serving on our parish pastoral council. The nomination forms are in the pews. You may drop them in the basket this morning, or you can give them to me after Mass. They have to be in the office no later than Tuesday, so please prayerfully consider those whom you would like to see in our parish pastoral council. There are baby bottles at the side entryways of church and on the back shelf. These are going to the support life issues. Uh, the bottles will be available through Father's Day. There is a second collection day for the care and maintenance of both our cemeteries. There's an envelope in the pew. With the loss of the Monterey uh, shock facility work crews, we're really struggling to find the funding to make sure that our cemeteries are well cared for. So your generosity will be most appreciated. Tomorrow is the celebration of Memorial Day. Mass will be held at 7.30 a.m. at St. Mary's Cemetery. In case of rain, Mass will be celebrated here in church. The parish office will be closed for the holiday. This Thursday is the Feast of the Ascension. Thursday Masses are uh, 7 o'clock, 12.05 here at St. Mary's and 6.30 at St. Benedict's. Please check the bulletin for more information. This coming Saturday, a workshop has been scheduled from 9 to 11 o'clock here at St. Mary's for those who are on the intercessory prayer team and those who pray for healing. So if you are a part of that, we invite you to please attend. And if you are interested, we invite you to attend. So that's this coming Saturday from 9 to 11. We have a custom here in the Schuyler Catholic community that at the conclusion of the recessional hymn, we kneel and silently pray three Hail Marys for the next one among us to be called home by God. We invite you to join us in that prayer this morning. I ask that you please kindly make sure your cell phones are placed in a silent mode during Mass. Our opening hymn this morning is number 522 in the Gather Hymnal. Today's readings begin on page 96 in the Sunday's Word in the Select. And I invite you now to join in our call to worship again.
Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our risen Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water he has created, which will be sprinkled on us as a memorial of our baptism. May he help us by his grace to remain faithful to the spirit we have received. Almighty Lord and God, who are the source and origin of all life, whether of body or soul, we ask you to bless this water, which we use in confidence to implore forgiveness for our sins and to obtain the protection of your grace against all illness and every snare of the enemy. Grant, O Lord, in your mercy, that living waters may always spring up for our salvation, and so may we approach you with a pure heart and avoid all danger to body and soul through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant Almighty God that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy which we keep in honor of the risen Lord and that what we relive in remembrance we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them, that they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Our <laughs> song is number 65. Let all the earth number 65. Christ as Lord in your heart. 
Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Spirit 
to Christ Jesus. By accepting and listening to the Spirit of Truth in our hearts, we can, as St. Peter calls us to do, sanctify Christ our Lord in our hearts and give clear witness to the hope given to us by and through Christ our Lord, the hope of eternal life and communion with God. In the first reading the Acts of the Apostles, Philip, after receiving the Holy Spirit, goes to Samaria and gave clear witness to the gospel of hope, the gospel of salvation, through the spirit of truth. The Samaritan crowds were attracted to the words of salvation and saw the signs that Philip was doing and accepted with great joy God's message. When the word reached Jerusalem about the Samaritans and sectors, Peter and John came to them to pray that they would receive the Holy Spirit. Then laid hands on them, and they received the Spirit. There was great joy in that city, the joy of Christ Jesus. The joy referred to is not necessarily the jubilation that typically comes to mind in the English language. Joy in scriptural terms is a state of mind and an orientation of heart. It is a state of contentment, confidence, and hope that comes from accepting Jesus' gospel of salvation and his gift of the Holy Spirit. It is not a contentment that comes from believing that no problems, tragedies, or challenges will come our way. It is a content state of mind that comes from knowing that God is always active in our lives to help, guide, and console us through our challenges. It is the hope and the promise of Christ, salvation, resurrection, and finally eternal communion with God that gives us joy. It is a state of mind and heart that, give, that requires an open, docile acceptance of His most Holy Spirit, a person gift beyond all price. Through the acceptance of the Holy Spirit, we come to perceive more clearly the love of God and the realities of this world. <coughs> For accepting the Holy Spirit in a special way, in a special way, we are accepting the love of God that proceeds from the Father and the Son. A love beyond human understanding that can dimly be understood by us through the Spirit. Through the Spirit, we are able to understand to a degree what love is and to love God and neighbor more deeply. Jesus said, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Jesus commanded us to love God and neighbor. Through his Holy Spirit, the love of our triune God is revealed to us which leads us to a deeper understanding of what love really is. Love is sacrificial. It is not, it is for the sake of the other, without benefit or expectation for oneself. This love can only be understood through the Spirit's revelation to us. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son up unto death. And it was revealed to us that while we were still enemies, he died for us, that we might live. We have nothing of value to give God, no way to pay our ransom, to pay for our sins. Yet he provided for our salvation, provided for life everlasting, and did not leave us to find our own way. He gave us a guide, a guide that leads us to Christ, leads us to the Father, leads us to love who is the triune God. Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI wrote in his encyclical, God is Love, interpreting the first letter of John, that love of neighbor is a path that leads to an encounter with God, and that closing our eyes to our neighbor also blinds us to God. So without love of neighbor, we cannot grow closer to God, because we are blinded to the things of God. When we choose not to love, 
We choose not to listen to the Holy Spirit. The Spirit seeks to reveal God to us through loving others and has revealed the path, that that path of love laid out for us leads to the Father and the Son. By not loving, we choose to go it alone and journey away from the things of God and God Himself. That may be our choice. But do not think because you have turned away or stopped listening, or because you have sinned, that the Spirit will not lead you back to God if you ask Him to do so. God sends the rain upon the sinner and the righteous and has unjustifiably provided for the salvation of all who want it. Despite our decision not to love, not to heed the Spirit's counsel, out of true love, the Spirit will not abandon us. Jesus will still call to us. The Father's arms will still be open to us, waiting for us to turn back to receive the love Christ promised. When we turn back to God and open our hearts, the Spirit of mercy will guide us on our journey and teach us how to love God and neighbor, filling us with great joy. Let us open our hearts to the Spirit and love one another while letting the hope of Christ well up in our hearts and shine from our faces. Dean of Blue Baker Pulley, 
Dennis Amazano, Quincy Powers, Tim Day, Charles Roth, Jean Donnell, and Adam Hobson, and those whose names are listed in the bulletin on the prayer plaque and the intentions in the books of requests, that our love and prayers will bring them to the healing and peace of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faith of the partners whose lifelong vigil for the Lord has ended, especially Diana Franzese and Ruth Copeland, that they will share in the joy of the eternal banquet. And for Stella Fraboni, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention spoken in our hearts. Building your kingdom, we will reign as our God forever and ever. Amen. Our hymns of presentation of the gifts is number 608, Be Not Afraid, number 608.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual fruit. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples. 
saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. <coughs> Blessed are those called who will suffer in the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. No. No.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who restore us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We spoke briefly last week about the devastation some of our neighboring communities have experienced because of the wind, rain, and flooding. And so this morning at the end of Mass, um, Joseph, Ian, and I will be at the entrances of church for a loose change collection. Anything you may happen to have handy in your pocket, pocketbook, wallet, or purse that would go to help the people affected by the flooding. We're going to give the money to St. Michael's Church in Penyan and let them distribute it and to the people that come to them in need. The Lord be with you. And May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Our recessional hymn is number 890, America the Beautiful. Thank you. 